A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 40, calculus, part 11, returning to integration. And in this lesson we'll be looking at the definite integral and the area under a curve. I'll explain why I've put that in speech marks during the lesson. Now integration will actually calculate the area under a graph. So let's look at this first example. Find the area bounded by the graph of y equals x squared, the x-axis and the lines x equals 2 and x equals 3. Now as with any question, not just in mathematics but in many other subjects as well, if you can do a sketch without too many problems then it's always a good idea to do a sketch because it helps you see what's going on. So there's the graph of y equals x squared. If I put 1 there, 2 there and 3 there, we're talking about finding the area here. It's bounded by the graph of y equals x squared and the x-axis and the line x equals 1 and the line x equals 3. And to calculate that we integrate between the limits of the graph with respect to x. This is called the upper limit and this is called the lower limit. And this is in fact what we mean by a definite integral. When we write something with an upper and a lower limit we have in fact a definite integral. And when we do this we don't need to concern ourselves with the constant of integration. This takes care of that. So let's do the integration. We raise this by one power, so it becomes a 3, and we divide by that new power. Putting this in squared brackets is a normal process, upper limit and lower limit. So now we substitute in the upper limit as a value of x, so substituting in there we get 3 cubed is 27, divided by 3, that's in fact 9, minus substituting in the lower limit. So in other words, x cubed is 2 cubed, which is 8 over 3. Now appreciating that 8 over 3 is 2 and 2 thirds, we're talking about 9 minus 2 and 2 thirds, which is 6 and 1 third. As it's an area, we could write square units at the end. We don't know what the units are, but in fact we don't usually bother to do that. But I suppose we should. So we found the area by doing what we call a definite integral. A definite integral is when we have the upper and lower limits and in fact the value of the constant of integration is not needed. So let's move on to this question. Evaluate the following, which just means work out. So we have a definite integral because we've got an upper and lower limit. We could consider it as finding the area under this graph, but this question is just asking us to work out this definite integral. So, if we integrate, we raise this 2 by 1 power, and divide by the new power, we appreciate this little 1 there, and we raise that by 1 power, and divide by the new power, and if you integrate a number, then the x returns. There's the upper limit and the lower limit. It's always a good idea to simplify as soon as you possibly can and it as makes the substitution easier. So we need to substitute the upper limit of 2 so 2 in here is 2 cubed which is 8 plus 2 squared which is 4, 3 fours are 12 minus 3 twos are 6 minus substituting in the lower the limit so the lower limit is 1, so that's 1 cubed, plus 3 multiplied by 1 squared, which is 3, minus 3. So we have here 20 take away 6, which is 14, minus, those 3's will cancel, will just give us the 1. So we've got an answer of 13. So we've evaluated this definite integral. Let's look at another definite integral. Evaluate this 
definite integral. But before we can do that, let's remember sometimes we have to rewrite the question. So this needs to be rewritten as 3 over 4, 3 quarters of x to the power of minus 2 with respect to x. Now we can integrate it. Raise this by 1 power. If you raise that by 1 power, it becomes minus 1, and then divide by that new power, which means to say that 4 needs to be multiplied by minus 1. Now definitely, it would be a good idea to tidy this up. 4 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 4, so we can actually say a minus there, or a minus there, or a minus there. It doesn't really matter. The x to the power minus 1 would be better written like that. Little 1 there, which we need not to write anymore. Once we've simplified this, we then substitute in the upper limit. So it's 3 over 4 times x, which is 4 times 3. Minus, substitute in the lower limit. So it's 3 over 4 times 1. Now this will cancel to a quarter, so that's minus a quarter, minus minus three quarters, which makes plus three quarters, so the answer is plus a half. That definite integral works out to be plus a half.